Tayo was able to pay for a passport to become a citizen of that country and be given their passport to travel around the world. I hope that by the time I'm done with this video, you will see why some Nigerians always want to go for the Ghana card instead of the non-citizen card. I was expecting Tayo Aino to call Nigerians to order to say please let us tune it down he said he can never be from any other place but Nigeria bro you are so proud of your country what about the people passport you're holding I mean like what is this so proud of being a Nigerian but you cannot travel with your passport you had to go pay 150 US dollars to get a passport from a tiny island in the Caribbean for you to be able to achieve your dreams. <sighs> Nigerians. In my place, the part of Nigeria that I come from, let me tell you a story. The part of Nigeria that I come from, if a child is in the habit of fighting with other kids and that child is the one that is the troublemaker, and this child has his mother and his father and his siblings and they never any day correct him they don't tell the child the truth they always support that child because that child is their child do you know what the, the other kids and their parents families will do to such a child they will avoid that child they will cut the child off they cut this child off from their circle when the, the other kids are playing that particular spoiled brat to join them to play they will refuse that is exactly what the world is doing to nigeria that is what Ni the world is doing to nigerians so cutting themselves off from you because you lack home training hi everyone we are back again with another video thank you so much for tuning in so today guys seriously I don't know when this video will be up but i watched a video hold on let me check the dates on the 27th of january of 2024 i watched a video on my fellow youtuber my senior colleague on his channel and i must say that i am disturbed like it's been a while i watch a youtube video that get me feeling bad for a whole day you know till i go to bed do you understand guys i want to react to this video by tayo aino a nigerian travel content creator i don't know if it has happened to you before a case where you see a video that either makes or break your day i am a big fan of tayo aino's videos because man the editing alone is so on point the stories are unique the visual is just something to die for he has always made my day but as a matter of fact on the 27th of january he posted a video now i'm saying that because i don't know when this video will be up the one you're watching now, i don't know when i'll drop it but on the 27th of january tayo made a video and after watching the video i became sad all through till i went to bed you know i had a lot of questions in my head like why 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 i mean like why why i mean like fucking why yes why i mean why oh my god i don't know if you have watched a video like that that makes or break your day this particular video by Tayo I know I will not lie broke my day but it's good see it got me feeling down for myself for a lot of people for my family for innocent Nigerians like myself innocent and well-behaved Nigerians all around the world but especially Nigerians from a poor home nigerians from poor families nigerians from poor family backgrounds my heart goes out to them the most i would say go out to us the most do you understand for me right now i am the background so whatever my life turn out it simply means that is what 
the background of my family the background of my family is so i'm no longer looking at my background because i am now the background of my family for my children so if i fail you know what their background is if i succeed you know what their background is and my heart goes out to people that do not have anyone that think that way for them as a nigerian oh my god you are well behaved you follow all the rules on grand you do not cheat people you do not murder you do not support yahoo yahoo you do not support any form of injustice towards people you do not support jungle justice you are not a rapist in fact you are even a victim of rape you are a victim in your own country of insecurity because maybe recently your village was attacked by men and you don't even know where to go from there okay fine the universe smiled at you you pick up your passport and you went there you are rejected because of course you are a nigerian double jeopardy double jeopardy i'm controlling myself in this video because i am not happy and the truth is it does not matter who and who is not going to be happy about this video i don't care let's talk seriously we can't all be living in denial is it we can't be doing that please we cannot do that we have to talk i mean what is this let me let me play some clips from this video i'm going to break it down bit by bit because i can't play it like that it's going to go it's going to go against the youtube community guidelines so what i'll do is i'll play some clips from time to time i'll be back i'll go back again i'll be back so let's start somewhere i don't even know where to start well let's start here yeah, i needed to get a passport let me explain the police also stopped me because i was in nigeria and then they arrested me and they even hit me next thing he said was we need to check your stomach for drugs i was like drugs the trump administration is expanding its travel ban now all immigrants from nigeria will be banned i got arrested um they went through my phone they like put me in handcuffs and they were like oh that i'm like a fraud star because i'm in nigeria and i love that it's been five years since I started making videos and while a lot of you guys on the other side have seen me travel the world and experience different places, it has not been easy. This is what the world looks like when my friends who have a US or a UK passport want to travel. And this is what the world looks like whenever I want to travel. Look at all those red dots. Those are all the places I can go to. Why, you may ask? Because I'm Nigerian and I have the green passport, which is one of the weakest across the world. Please like this video and do wait to subscribe if you have not subscribed, okay? I mean, I mean, now, yes, this guy is facing all series of rejection. And, but there's something I want to say later in the video. Whoever is going to cry, I don't care, even if it's tire himself sees this video and is not happy with me sir i don't care my brother i don't care because you know what we die once something will kill a man so if it's truth that will kill me it's fine i'll take it but let us tell us the truth mm, mm. okay so he's facing rejection from rejection from rejection finally good news came to him he's able to pay for a passport from another country one of the countries in the caribbean island Mm? Tayo was able Tayo was able to pay for a passport to become a citizen of that country and be given their passport to travel around the world. I hope that by the time I'm done with this video, you will see why some Nigerians always want to go for the Ghana card instead of the non-citizen card. Yeah. Even in Africa, as Africans, we still have to apply for a lot of visas. And sometimes you might get denied. For me to go to places like Tanzania, for me to go to Namibia, Morocco, Egypt, I need to apply for a visa. You can spend a lot of time just for one application. And then the amount of documents they ask you to provide is just a lot. And I'm like, why? It's the same Africa. And that has led to me not being able to travel to so many places that I wanted to travel to for a very long time. I'm taking out my camera, sir. The only thing I can record is on my phone. We need to check your stomach. 
for drugs. I was like, drugs? How do you just build a perception on somebody without even knowing the person just because the person is from Nigeria? Bari has been denied a lot of Nigerian males between the age of 35 to 20. This was two years ago. I was denied entry into Dubai even though I was invited for a conference just because I was in Nigeria. In Arusha, Tanzania. Without having to renounce your current citizenship, which is extremely important for some of our Months of waiting and so many years of getting denied, you know. You want to go to uh, Europe, you get denied. You want to go to the UK, you get denied. Every single time, denied, denied. I feel like no Nigerian should have to face discrimination. Nigerians are really beautiful. We did this. We, us. If you love to get a new citizenship just like I did, celebrate with you guys. Yes. To get on a plane now. <laughs> to test out this passport. Who do I want to go to first? Let's pass through passports. Is it passport control? It took less than 10 seconds. Normally, if I was coming with my Nigerian passport, I'm sure they would have asked me 1 million questions. The guy didn't even ask me anything. And he just put the stamp on the passport. We got it here. <laughs> man, this passport is magic. They bring out a passport and nobody asks you any questions. Nobody asks, where's your visa? Now I can go to South Korea, I can go to Peru, I can go to Colombia, I can go to Barbados, Rihanna's home, Barbados. See, something will kill a man, my friend. Let's talk truth. So now, Tayo, after facing rejection because he can afford it, only God knows what this young man has gone through. How many companies had had to support him? His family members that had had to donate money to him, his good friends that want to see his dream come to life, they have donated funds to him. His own YouTube income, uh, it simply means that Tayo has been like me. No new clothes, maybe for a very long time. No new, nothing, nothing fun to do because you have money to save to be able to do what with it, not to be the house, not to relocate to another country for opportunities, but to acquire a passport from another, from another country for you to be able to travel freely to achieve your dreams. So it simply means that if you are not like Tayo, that is very intelligent, very talented in making YouTube videos, which means his money comes in dollars. If you're not like Tayo, you know, he is, he knows where to go and is Yoruba and, you know, he's out here. He has a lot of people that love him. If he wanted safe, if not that Tayo is a bit, it's not like other YouTubers, he could have got his fans to pay for that he could have set up a gofundme account to get it done it's just that he is different from you know the rest he's not the type that can easily come out here to ask for help it doesn't mean he's better than the rest but i mean like if he wanted to do like his colleagues he could actually have done it come out here call for funding people will raise money for him and he will get this passport and go see the world right now let's talk about a nigerian that cannot afford that a nigerian from a poor family a nigerian with no much talent a nigerian with little source of income because if you earn your monies in dollar and you live in nigeria you and you live in nigeria you are rich no matter how little the money is so that gives tayo edge over the rest so now let's talk about these ones that cannot afford it. They are not YouTubers because before you even make YouTube to the point of where you can raise that amount of money, Charlie, you will be badass. Like you are so good in the game that you are so good. What about them? These Nigerians that do not have all of this luxury that Tayo Aino has. Luxury in terms of, I mean, the ability to think for himself, the ability to to, to reach out to a company to say see my intentions the ability to say oh to this country that is applying to have their passport to say oh i'm going to make you proud because i am a travel content creator i am intelligent i will present and i will i will not cause problem i mean he can easily prove to this country that he is a good and genuine person but how many nigerians can prove how many there are not many.
entire you know, situation that can prove themselves to any country that they are applying to get their passport from. Do you understand? So what about all these ones? It means that their dreams are all going to die, right? All right, so now let's talk about it because I fear no man, I fear no evil, for thou, Jah, Jehovah Jari, is with me. Now, I was thinking that by the end of the video, Tayo I know is going to call our youth to order to say, please, if there's anything you are doing wrong, please tune it down. Tune it down. But Brother Tayo did not do it because he does not want all these gen z on youtube to come for him that you are you know did not do it he only uses money apply for the passport and leave the problems of nigeria for nigerians abi someone like tayo this is me spilling fat see hates me unsubscribe call me names those heavy names like which other name like what again at least the good thing is you will never say you can never in your life say that I stole from anyone or dupe anyone of their hard-earned monies. You can only say a prostitute, a single mother, which is all good, you know. But if you like, hate me, I'm going to speak the truth. I was expecting Tayo Aino to call Nigerians to order, to say, please, let us tune it down. The end of the video, you know, I think Tayo talk. Tayo say, make me continue to do anyhow, you happy. He said he can never be from any other place but Nigeria. Bro, you are so proud of your country. What about the people passport you are holding? I mean, like, what is this? You're so proud of being a Nigerian, but you cannot travel with your passport. You had to go pay 150 US dollars to get a passport from a tiny island in the Caribbean for you to be able to achieve your dreams oh my god tayo did not preach you you can see this is exactly what they want everybody to do so that the country can continue to be messed up don't speak don't speak about it if you want to become a ghanaian go ahead and become a ghanaian don't disturb us i would disturb you because i have my nieces and nephews in nigeria for me right now where i am right now hmm? I'm just step away from if i want to become a ghanaian today today my brother eh do day to day now for me to marry a ghana man now for me to fall in love helplessly with one of my fellow ghanaian hmm? marry him or he marries me who marries each other i marry him okay fine the african way he marries me he will take me to the minister of interior the following two weeks Charlie, what are you saying? Eh? My name don't change to a queer be that. Ah, a queer Lilian. Lagbaja, I don't know my husband's name. Oga, if you are here, comment down below with your son name. Which one are we bearing? Comment down below at the comment section. What if I do that? Like, that is what they expect me to do. Just shut up if there are bad things going on in the country. It's none of your business. Keep quiet, face front, just like Tayo did. I am so disappointed <laughs> anyways i can't blame him all because he has his brand deals to protect because when you start doing all these videos brands will no longer brand give you these they want to disassociate themselves from you because they are the sponsors of bad behavior anyways for those of us that have nothing to lose like I, I don't care brand come good but any brand that is coming to take away my freedom Biko. If that is um, all that it takes to get brandies, I am not interested. Where you have to lie to yourself. Tayo Aino could have easily made a single speech in that video. Tiny one, like the tiniest part of that video. He could have used it to say, my fellow Nigerians, calm down. He did not do. He was even playing victim. Eh, just because I'm a Nigerian. Did you ask these people? My question to Tayo is that, Sir, did you at any point try to ask your fellow Nigerians, why are they doing this to you? No. I'm happy for you. You can afford the luxury of a passport from a tiny island because you have the money and the connections to do so. 
so other nigerians now that don't have anyone to speak for them they are good they are of good behavior just that the bad ones have rub it on them this ones now they should join the bad ones thank you very much that is what you are saying they should follow suit if they don't have the money to buy a passport from an island somewhere in the caribbean they should join the bad ones make when they do anyhow they go me i don't go you know you know consign me it's okay it's okay no problem <sighs> dear nigerians on behalf of Tayoa, you know, I want to tell you the truth. Hmm? I want to tell you the truth. Coming to get the Ghanaian passport, the Ghana card illegally, and using it to get the Ghanaian passport is not going to save you. If I see any of you, Charlie, I'll report you. But wait, oh, the good news is that the Ghanaian Immigration Service is not even joking. Oh. The Ghanaian Immigration Service is not joking. Oh. I have you know i have someone that i know you know like them say them say someone that i know one on one that got arrested please hold on my throat is dry this person got arrested because a jealous friend of his who happened to also be his fellow nigerian went and tell the Ghanaian police that this guy is in possession of the Ghanaian citizenship card and he is not a Ghanaian and the person was confident trust the Ghanaian police they swap into action quickly into action upon investigation they realized that it is true guess what they did to him from courtroom to courtroom courtroom to courtroom courtroom to courtroom but this guy saved punishment this guy was in prison for some time because of what ghana citizenship card and the card was at the end of the day taken away from him destroyed everything everything he was in fact he was stripped naked like this the card was seized and destroyed deleted from the data here in ghana so please and <laughs> that is why if you are a nigerian and you are in possession of a ghana card a nigerian and you are in possession of the ghanaian citizenship card and i know about it i will not go and report you but i will be careful with you because <laughs> you are sitting on a time bomb so i expected people like tayo to just come together and say okay give a voice to say my people let me address you please if there are things we are doing wrong let's just tone it down small he did not he took it to be like the world hate nigerians and he just went on with his uh, what again uh, his what again his new country uh, yeah he went on with the his new country id card <sighs> nigerians in my place the part of nigeria that i come from let me tell you a story the part of nigeria that i come from if a child is in the habit of fighting with other kids and that child is the one that is the troublemaker and this child has his mother and his father and his siblings and they never any day correct him they don't tell the child the truth they always support that child because that child is their child do you know what the people the other kids and their parents families will do to such a child they will avoid that child they will cut the child off from their circle when the other kids are playing that particular spoiled brat to join them to play they will refuse that is exactly what the world is doing to nigeria that is what the world is doing to nigerian so cutting themselves off from you because you lack home training I have told you before, any day you plan to kill me, you even think of it, according to Victoria Orenzioni, and it's over, but you call me, if you think calm, say you just think calm, like, thinking it alone, last all song, you go kill yourself. The thunder of God will come upon you, and you will start to stab every family member of yours. If he's gone, you will use it to kill them, or kill yourself. You see me? I'm, I'm in the hollow of the Most High God. Oh, Larry, me, you can't see me. Oh, <laughs> don't say I didn't warn you. The hollow of the mighty God of hosts, the hollow Psalm 91, verse 1. Check it out so that you will know. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And that is where I, 
Lily Ogini is. But you know what? From there, from the holo, I will tell you nothing but the truth. My country people, the world is cutting you off because they believe you lack home training. You don't have fear of God. So it means if you're a Nigerian of good character, it means nothing because you are still going to be discriminated upon for the sins of others. So what we are supposed to do is tell each other the truth. Charlie, if they do this business, you know, good. No do them again, Oga. If they bring bad reputation. But even tell you no do them because you know, consign them and I get it. I understand. For me, I have nothing to lose, okay? I'm not looking for a husband. Besides, I don't even want to marry a Nigerian man, just so you will know. A Nigerian man, I don't want to marry, and I'm not even looking for a husband. So, what is that I'm losing? Endorsement deal? Any endorsement deals that will not allow me to be myself, to tell the truth, I don't want it. It, it means it's not for me. Disassociate yourself from me if you want. But you see the truth, we shall speak it. In my place, when a child is, um, you know, you do things, your family will always look at it to be, eh, they don't see anything wrong, they don't caution you, people around will cut you off, they will not let you play with them again. That is what we are dealing with. So when I come here and I say anything, my fellow Nigerians will come and attack me. They will abuse me. They will say all sorts of things. You want to be allowed. They will say I must support the country. No, I am setting you up for destruction if I do it. Already you guys have destroyed me. The reputation of all Nigerians is messed up. Change attitude today. My fellow Nigerians, change attitude today. <laughs> Congratulations to Taya, you know. Mm, maybe, even see me, even if I get my citizenship card in Ghana, which I'm not working towards, because if I want, I can get it like this. Mm -hmm, I can get it like this. But I'm not working towards it because, man, I don't know if you know the type of heart that I have. Lily don't care. I just want to be able to feed my children, clothe them, pay for their education, just leave without begging be in good health be able to take them to the hospital if needs be care for them and just provide the basics for them you see how this is the ss billion millions billion trillions if they come i'll take it but it's not my goals in life to, uh, to say i must have bastard money i must be a billionaire i must appear in foot and all that these are not my interests mm? they don't interest me if my children so wish to they can go for it why not they are they, they I, I can't decide for them i am not their god i'm only their messenger their mother to get it so i don't really know what what am i losing exactly the millions that is coming hmm? what what am i losing i'm thinking no. my good health is in the hands of god almighty my life my safety my security is in the hands of the lord god almighty so what am i losing exactly I'm thinking about it. What is that thing that I'm losing? What? What is that thing that I'm losing by speaking truth? Nothing. I understand that Tayo is a man and one day he may want to go into politics, appointments and all that. So if he comes up to condemn, to speak truth, it will happen. So a child that the, the family do not caution at home, they do not train, he has every child disconnect from them. That's how we behave in my place. So. Hmm. Nigeria, you'll be great again. I pray for you. I pray for innocent Nigerians um, that are of good behavior, like Tayo, I know, myself, and the rest that I know, that God will make a way for you. Uh, for those of us that are willing to sacrifice money for the truth, we'll be here spilling the truth, adjust, change attitudes. Okay? The ones that are of good behavior, God will help you. Okay? God will help you, will send you help. But these evil ones that are causing problems for us, <laughs> God will deliver us from them in Jesus' name. I am done with this video. I will see you in another one. Bye.